most dynamic system in the National Football League. Third snap and a first down as Burrow steps up and throws it complete to Tyler Boyd. And just like that, Cincinnati finds its side on the other side of the 50. Plethora of weapons on the outside, but early in the game. Second and three. Burrow facing pressure. Goes over the top, wide open is Chase, and he splits the defenders for the touchdown. Go ahead and pause that right there. At this point, you're looking in the backfield, and that's where Chase is going to sneak up. When the quarterback moves, it's a great job by Chase in the zone coverage to turn and go find, run the football, and still have the ability to move around the pocket. Second and six. Oh, what a big opening for Mixon. And he gets all the way to the 50. Adenogy, the right tackles in for Collins as of a couple of weeks ago. But you're going to see right here just a pulling. <laughs> like you said, Adenogy just, this is really impressive right now. Thought that was going to be so essential to his team's hopes. Third and seven. To the end zone. Open! Wide open! Hurst hauls it in for another Cincinnati touchdown. Chase is a decoy on a screen, and Hurst is wide open. They just challenge you in so many areas. What a design. Brian Callahan, like we said, getting all the looks now, right? There's Allen in trouble, and he's going to be sacked by Vaughn Bell, who comes up from his safety position. It's game day, Joe, though. That's the different one. This is game day, Joe. On first down, that's Mixon. And they're running the ball effectively. That one for 12. We got an injury update from Tracy. They're for real. Lou Anaruma, I'm so impressed with what they've done. Callahan. I'm a believer. Callahan as well. And this is going to be Burrow taking off again. They don't have a timeout. And that probably... Block it quickly. you got to get back as fast as you can. Try and get it with five or four. First and goal with it is from nine yards away. Cook. Tries to cut outside. It's not there. That was Hilton who read the play and... Brought it to a halt. Here's a third and ten. Had plenty of time. And Hurst leaps for the first down. Whew. What a play by Hayden Hurst. He went right over Jaquan Johnson, who had come in for Marlowe. Such a big guy jumping over Johnson. That's what happened to Mike McDaniel last week. He heard that it was a first down and had to go back to the fourth and run late, and they lost it on a... Delay game. Toss it outside to Mixon. He's got it now, and he's inside the 10 and down to the 5. That was some block by Jackson Carp. Going to give it up. Hand it off. Mixon. Oh, still waiting for a signal. No arms were raised. And I think it's the correct call, because right here, this is the view. You see that knee down right there. And that's like, okay, that's still not enough. But then you can see on this one, the ball, if the knee's there, you see his upper body there, and then it gets pulled back. He's been outstanding all year. He's going to have to do it again. He's been a spy on Allen a bunch. Sides go long. That ball knocked out of the hands of Gabe Davis. Digs over here. He's going to get double teamed. Go inside. Up here. One of those two. Allen still looking for answers. Now throws toward the end zone. And it's incomplete. It was intended for Davis. Eli Apple said, no, no. Not on me this time. I think Dallas can win this game. And I think they can win the Super Bowl. I also think San Francisco is as tough to play as anywhere else in the National Football League on the road in the playoffs as you see once again just the effort Cincinnati's doing. I think that he's not going to be near as athletic. However, Mahomes on athletic is the best pocket passer in the NFL probably. It's him and Burrow then. There's an interception. The first of the game for Cincinnati. And this has been a great performance by the rookie. I mean, Taylor Britt's done it all. And now he gets to say he has a postseason pick. Again, Callahan and Aruma, they need to be on your list. And right there you see, I also think Leslie Frazier to be a top five offense over and over again every year. He's changed his stripes, runs McDermott.